on everybody um i actually hit record earlier i thought i hit record funny thing i thought i hit record and i talked for like 12 minutes because this is supposed to be a 12 minute video and um it uh <laughs> i was pretty much talking and it wasn't recording and i did that for like 12 minutes and then i hit then i went to go hit stop record and it's, I, hit, I accidentally hit start record and then I sat there for like a second and then I, I look at the thing and it said recording and I'm like crap I just didn't record at all so just thought I'd let y'all know I thought that was pretty funny I spilled my coffee anyway so hey you know what it's, it's a blessing in disguise you know so it's all good um first thing I'm gonna do call to action like comment and subscribe hit that like button hit that comment and then comment or hit that subscribe and hit that bell do everything the trifecta do it all i think that's i think that cottons is a trifecta definitely um i uh, i went on a tangent before well i didn't go on a tangent kind of like a little bit of a rant on what I thought about traditional and digital art and I am going to do it again maybe a little more well thought out this time um, if you would like to show support go to my website uh, sign up first of all you're gonna go to my website you're gonna get hit with a newsletter thing don't be afraid I am not gonna sell your email to anybody that is for me to let people know when my books are on sale my books are on sale right now actually uh, sign up for that newsletter and then when you're done go ahead and check out the free uh, chapters of eternal there on my website um, and then if you like what you see go ahead and shell out twelve dollars or if you want shell out twenty four for both books and I will send them out to you uh, signed seal delivery straight to your house it has 133 pages on one, 137 on the other. This is uh, it's it's got black and white on the inside, and it also has color. If I can run into a colored page, that would be nice. Well, it's there. There we go. It's got color in it too, so it's all good. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all for the sa the sales pitch, as it were. I'm gonna go ahead and put that over there. Um, let me drag my coffee over here. Today's speed lapse art video is um, it has Proto X in it. Um, I know I said Proto X for the last video. That was actually Kai, and I messed up. So, and it's okay because you guys couldn't really hear me. I guess somebody somebody in the comment section that said they didn't they couldn't hear me. So I'm gonna raise the volume on this video a couple decibels. That way you can you guys can hear me a little better. I gotta work. I, I'm still working on video editing. My video editing skills are a little bit lacking, and it's a it's a learn it's a work in progress. I'm still learning, so it's all good. You know, it's all you gotta start somewhere. You know, you gotta start somewhere. Thank you to the person who said they couldn't hear me, because now I can raise the volume on my um on my audio here. So people can hear me so that'll be good um the character that you're seeing in the speed labs art video is named proto x he is a character from eternal he already showed up um in i think chamber six i don't want to give anything away but you can see the character right there proto x is already in print you can actually check him out if you buy yourself a copy of Eternal, he already showed up. So yeah, it, it's it's a work in progress. Everything's a work in progress. I'm working on Proto Y now. I'm working on Proto Y. She's another character from Eternal. So you're going to be able to see her uh, also if you buy the book. Um, she's vaguely there. Vaguely there. I, wanna, I wanted to give a hint of her being there. So I um, wanted to give a little a little hint of what's going on you know I don't want to give it all in one go that's that's the beauty of storytelling you give a little bit and you make people ask questions like who is that supposed to be so you're gonna find out I love I love I love writing a good story 
Um, and I'm, I'm definitely trying my best for y'all. Um, I wanted to uh, talk about um, digital versus traditional because everybody's always about it. Oh, well, traditional's better. You can sell the originals. Blah, 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 blah. Well, or people are like digital. Well, you want to get the job done. You got to go digital. Blah, 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 and all that stuff. Well, I am here to say I am not neither one nor the other. I am more about getting the job done. I'm more about getting the job done than the journey of it getting done. You know, you know what I mean? The journey is okay, but getting the job done is really important. That's really important to me. Um, I use Clip Studio. Um, there's a link in my description where you can go and check out Clip Studio. You can go ahead and go buy yourself a copy of Clip Studio and I'll get a percentage of the profits. You'll be helping me out. So I would appreciate I'm, I'm, I'm right up front with it. I am right up front with it. I am not a liar. I am not a sneaky dude. I get a percentage if I get a percentage of the profits if you buy a copy of Clip Studio through that link. I, I am an affiliate for Clip Studio, so I'll, I'll be able to get a percentage. So I would appreciate it if uh, you use that link if you're going to buy Clip Studio. But um, Clip Studio kind of mo is it. it it merges into the argument of uh, traditional and digital. Another thing about Clip Studio is it's more affordable than Photoshop. That's why I bought it. Um, I've been using Clip Studio since it was Manga Studio, and then they made the switch over to Clip Studio because Micro. God, I can't remember their names. My, Smith Micro made the switch, and then they changed uh, over to Celsius. So. And then it became from Manga Studio to Clip Studio, but um, I've been using it since it was Manga Studio, and it's a really good, really great program. It's really great. Um, back in the day when I used to uh, draw everything traditionally, and then I would scan it in and add the backgrounds later, I used to use a pirated version of Photoshop to do the backgrounds, and um, I wanted to legitimize my operations a little bit, so I went ahead. And started looking into Manga Studio, and Manga Studio had 3D LT also, 3D Line Tool. I think that's what that means, or translator, or whatever. Um, that what what 3D LT is is it takes a 3D model that you make in Blender or whatever. As long as it's an OBJ file, it'll be fine. You take that, you drag it into the program, and it turns the background into line art. Now that is really great because it takes a lot of the work out of you know all the preliminary sketches and all that stuff it, it does a lot of the work for you um, now some people will say well that's cheating that's cheating I, I don't think that's cheating I don't think that's cheating because a lot of I'm gonna give you an example Bernie Wrighton Bernie Wrighton was a comic artist for Marvel and DC he did Swamp Thing and a lot of other I got cut off um, I ran out of space on my computer, so I had to kind of get rid of a few things real quick, a few files. Um, I'm recording on OBS, so um, all that good stuff. Let me set my timer up. There we go. Like I was saying, you got to get your stuff out there. Um, luckily, there's the internet these days. You're able to get your stuff out there a lot more, um, a lot easier. You don't have to go. A lot of a lot of the gatekeepers are stepping out of the way. You can go around the gatekeepers these days, you know, so you can get your work out there. That's the beauty of it. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. You can get your work out there, make your own story, or or if you if you if you want to go the fan art route and you want to make a story based off of Superman, you you can do that. Just don't sell it because you're gonna get uh, hit up by the copyright monster, and then they're gonna be like, hey. Uh, cease and desist you can't do that no more but you know usually they only do that if you're trying to sell um, something and it isn't covered under uh, um, the uh, what do you call it the loophole there's a loophole for copyright law um, parody if it isn't covered under the parody parody loophole then you're screwed I mean that's what that's what they did with um that's what they did with them. Um, they, they always reserve the right to tell you to stop. 
So you got to watch out for that. That's the problem with fan art. You you always r run the risk of hitting up get hitting that wall, you know? That the company's going to hit you up and say, "Cease and desist. We're sending you this letter. You got to chill or we're going to sue you." Or whatever that is, you know? There's always that risk that you got to run into. Um A2MR, another Metroid game remake. I don't know. It was another video game. It was a video. It was a video game that this guy was doing. He it was a, I think it's M A A S M R. Another Metroid. Another Metroid game. I, I can't remember what it's what the acronym was. But some guy tried to make a a, a, a remake of uh, Metroid. I think it was Super Metroid. I think. And um, he, he it was a really good game. I actually got it on my PC. And um, Nintendo actually hit him up and they were like, okay, you need to stop doing this. I mean, he wasn't making money out of it or anything, but Nintendo still hit him up and they were like, look, you can't do this. You need to chill. This is our property and we're remaking Metroid anyways. So this is going to take away from that. Nintendo is notorious with litigation. It's ridiculous. But you know what? If they, They're the copyright holders. That's the way that it goes. So that's the pro that's the that's the problem that I have with fan art. I I don't like doing fan art a whole lot because I can't. I run the risk of not being able to put it into a publication later on. That's why I do a lot of original stuff because. Oh, that's my timer. Okay, I guess that's all for now. Um, we have a lot more to talk about later. I guess right. That's what's up. Um. Let me just finish my thought. So yeah, that's the problem with that. So if you're gonna if you're gonna do something, if you're gonna use your skills for something, don't be afraid to do something original. You know, don't be afraid to do something original every once in a while because they can't send you a cease and desist letter for doing something original. That's the way that that works. There's no originality police. There's police for the whole copyrighted material or whatever but don't be afraid to go original I mean like I encourage I encourage originality in, in the art community I really I, I love seeing that it really inspires me personally you know um I'm like yeah look at them doing their thing definitely definitely um what else was I going to talk about I think I hit the 12 minute mark I had to I, I ran into a few um barriers here my computer ran out of space this video got corrupted the first part of it so i gotta edit a few things but all in all we we, we made it through another video that's what's up um shout outs to the dude that said he couldn't hear me on the last video um i hope you can hear me better on this one i'm gonna adjust the volumes I'm going to adjust the volume on the audio a little better. I'll raise it up a couple decibels and all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to be doing a video later about um, how I print and bind my comics. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time to knock that out, but um, I want to be as in-depth with the explanation as possible. Um, I'm going to go into how I set all the pages up on Clip Studio. I'm going to, I'm going to go into the equipment that you have to buy to print and bind your own books, all that good stuff. Um, I learned a lot from YouTube, honestly, so don't be afraid to go out there and look for printing and binding videos on YouTube. That's how I learned. Um, and then I just pieced it all together to just form what I know right now. But I'm going to try to put it all on video for you all to check out. Um, so that way you can... I'm just going to pass the knowledge back on to y'all, whatever I learn, you know, into one neat, tidy little package. All right. That's all for now. I just shook the whole table. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate you watching all the way through. Some people just watch one minute or two minutes or whatever. But I want to, I'm, I'm, I, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Um. Don't be afraid to go to my website. It's in uh, the link is in the description. Go buy yourself a copy of Eternal or two copies. There are two.
two volumes available 133 pages and 137 it's all right there all right there that's what's up making it happen y'all making it happen that's what's up all right catch y'all later take care love y'all peace